is being around designating People's Park as a historic landmark. And that process has been in, in the works for years. And I'd like to bring Harvey Smith up here to talk about the fight that that particular group has, has been fighting and has recently won. A victory! Yay! Definitely a victory. Yeah, Henry described it as a struggle. Actually, in a way, it wasn't. It was a struggle to spend a lot of time writing up and filling out forms. But when our application made its way to the State Office of Historical Resources, the commission there voted unanimously with an impassioned endorsement of People's Park. To them, it was a no-brainer. Yes, People's Park deserves to be on the National Register. They forwarded that unanimous vote to Washington, D.C. And the keeper of the National Register, after some time, eventually approved it. So I want to tell you, this struggle between us and the community and the university, between us in Berkeley and the state of California, it's beyond that. People's Park is a national historic site. It's worthy of preservation. Yeah. So this is a little mock-up of what, what a plaque would be in the park, okay? And my idea, kind of riffing off of what Rosie just said, yeah. People's Park re represents peace. I think this plaque should be made of melted down buyback gun metal. Yeah. 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 So we're, we're pursuing a legal effort because we know that reason doesn't really count over here. So we have to fight them in court. So one of our efforts, um, there, there's several lawsuits, but I want, but we really need support, you know, for these efforts. So after I come down here from the podium, see me if you want to contribute any amount. You know, we've got Venmo, we've got PayPal. We'll take a check. We'll, we'll take cash. We'll take anything. Um, unfortunately, lawyers are expensive, but we got some of the best. So it's really important. So what I also want to point out about the, the issue of logic is that this doesn't make any sense. Look, the university and its plan wants to tear down Evans Hall, right over here, right on the Memorial Glade. What are they going to do when they tear it down? Leave it as open space. Yeah. Open space is okay for the campus, but not okay for the South Side and the community? Talk about it. Talk about it. What is that about? So the, the, the hypocrisy with the university abounds. They, they, they want to destroy people's park when a block away, they've got this horrible parking structure that is actually on their list of alternatives. Why don't they build there? No one would miss that parking structure. So there are options, there are ways out. And we've actually put together a vision statement because some people want to listen to logic. Maybe not people in this building, but some people like a logical approach. So what we think should happen is the state, and they have money, they have state park monies, should take over People's Park and work with the community because the university has shown us they are not interested. City of Berkeley has shown us they're not interested. So let's let the state step up and do it. You know, the state, just to give you a little history, gave the university over 50 acres where the California School for the Blind and Deaf was. That did not used to be UC. So this is possible. We're only asking for 2.8 acres to be preserved. So keep all that in mind. And when, when people tell you there's no way out of this, there certainly is. Um, the university at this point should step up and honor what is a national historic site yeah. and honor, honor over the 50 years that the park has been in existence. Some of the historic sites, they, they date back because something happened there a long time ago. People's Park is ongoing and let's make sure that it continues to keep going.
Thank you.